Blessed Afternoon Collective. I'm back. I'm back because I decided I am going to pull some cards. You know, just had to go with the flow. It's what it is. Uh, and honestly, all of this, all of this is self-expression, right? That's all all of this is. It's just me talking to myself. And truly, it boggles my mind, boggles the mind, that there is anyone else on the other side of this. <laughs> it's crazy to me. And it's a part of this whole challenge. It's a part of this whole experience. This is all an experiment. It's a coping strategy. It's just pure self-expression. And it is a part of my personal practice of expanding consciousness and awareness and becoming more aware of ego and that whole thing and continuing to challenge ego not by opposition of it but by awareness of it and allowing it to be uncomfortable allowing myself to be uncomfortable which i gotta say happens a lot happens all the time <laughs> let there be no illusion that any of this doesn't feel scary <laughs> it, it does it does a lot but that's why I'm doing it because of that because underneath that fear there is excitement there's passion there's good feeling there is satisfaction and am I gonna walk my talk hell yeah am I gonna let fear stop me from doing something that feels good no no I'm not does it happen sometimes? Yeah, and I'm becoming more and more aware of it. And the more I become aware of it, the more I am leaning into it and letting it be. A big part of this is just <sighs> honoring and acknowledging and encouraging the pure expression of self for self-expression's sake. There's not a point. There's not a meaning. There's not a greater purpose. I'm not here to dispense some elaborate plan or great wisdom whatever flows through flows through i'm just here to be i'm just here to make a sound because it feels good to me and it sounds good to my ears and it feels good to my throat and my body and my experience to do so and a lot of times i love reading the comments because i love engaging with the other souls that have gathered here you are infinitely beautiful and it is you who are calling forth whatever messages come out when there is wisdom trust it's not my wisdom it's not coming from me it's coming from us it's coming from all and it comes through and i am as shocked and grateful for those moments as anyone else and a lot of times i read comments of people saying I'm, I'm thankful for what you've said and I don't know what the fuck I said I ha I don't remember I don't have a fucking clue I'm, what did I say I'm glad it was good but what was it I don't know and that's when ego takes over and goes oh you better live up to some expectation and this and that and whatever and no there's no expectation on any of this it just is what it is it is what it is point blank period life it is what it is, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be any thing specifically, other than what is in the moment. And this is my purposeful leaning into that. So, just felt like expressing that. I'm going to pull some cards on the feminine, because I feel like it. Uh, but just wanting to express some gratitude and continue the openness the honesty the vulnerability the exposure of self because that's what this is about too right when ego feels something that it's afraid of that it wants to hide that's my sign to go all right we talk about that <laughs> we talk about that right now and sometimes we don't talk about it we just feel silence in the moment and let there be silence as the sprinklers died down that was cool because the point is, there is no point. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be articulate. A lot of times it's not. <laughs> it's just sounds. And those sounds sound good. 
That's enough for me. I want to pull on what's incoming for the feminine energy. Not talking about soulmate cycle. None of that shit. If you are on this channel, it is very likely that, well, you resonate with this energy, the energy that is being put out in some form or fashion. I feel that as feminine energy, it has nothing to do with gender. It's just, it's just the energy. It's negative energy, actually, is what it is, <laughs> energetically speaking. Uh, and so because of that, I like to pull on what's incoming to me specifically because again this is very selfish all of it is did you think it was for you no it's for me <laughs> because every act must be taken selfishly you are the only self that is yourself we're all the same self right but there's only one yourself there's only one i am that is inhabiting your space that you call i and every action that you take must be in service of that self. You are self-sovereign. It is only by acting in service of yourself, your I am, that you are truly adding to and empowering the collective self. An act that is taken selflessly, which is just a made up word. By the way, I haven't talked about that in a while, so I'm gonna mention it again. The word selfless, uh, it, it was just made up. And of course, we could say, well, all words are made up. No, I mean, it, it doesn't have an origin the same way that the word selfish does. See, the word selfish can be traced back to proto-language as meaning self-like, that which is like myself. We still have other words that demonstrate this today. Childish is one. Yeah, we give that other meanings, but what it means is childlike. It means like a child, sharing the attributes of a child. So the word selfish, as identified at the origin of that word, means that which is like myself. That which I see, and knowing myself, I feel there is a connection here. There is a likeness, there is a similarity. We are selfish. You are selfish. You are like myself. That's what that word means. It means true to the self. It was only in the 15 or 1600s that a cardinal, I believe it was, cardinal or bishop, a specific one, one man, I'm not demonizing men, I'm just saying one person, one human person, human brain, decided to redefine that word and invent a new word, selfless, and give that an oppositional meaning to selfish. It was that one person who, in translating some portions of the Bible, decided selfish is now a bad word. Now we're now I'm defining selfishness as greed, as malice, as general misanthropy, and uh, just that. <laughs> just uh, malevolence even, you know, all of these things that are anti, because I'm setting it up as the foil to selflessness. Ah, oh, that's, that's the moral epitome to be selfless. Let me tell you this, Jesus would have proudly claimed the title of selfish. Jesus was profoundly selfish. Jesus knew that he was God and proclaimed that. But at the same time, he knew the difference. He knew the difference between the form and that other people would perceive him as the form and mistakenly think he was saying this form is God. And that's why he spoke of the Father and said things like, it is not I, but the Father who does the works. While at the same time saying, do you not know that you are God's? I am the son of God, it is God flowing through me, which is I am. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. None shall know the Father except through me means myself. Not him. Not Jesus the guy. <laughs> through the self. Through the experience of the self. Jesus was a mystic. He was one of the Nazarenes. They were a cult. A mystical cult. He studied 
with the Egyptians in mystery schools. He studied with Hindu and Buddhists. He studied with pagans in Europe. <laughs> Besides the point, the point is be selfish. Do what is selfish. You will feel the difference. That which is selfish, selfish in the egoic, in, in the misunderstanding of the word, you can feel. You can feel it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel clean. It doesn't feel pure. It has this ickiness to it. You can feel it. When you are selfish and you are indulging in a desire, purely allowing yourself that freedom, knowing this is this is divine. Source desires. I am source. I am spirit. Let me not deny what spirit wants. And what spirit wants is to experience. Experience pleasure. Experience contrast. Because the contrast adds to the clarity of and the experience of the pleasure. Let me selfishly embrace these things. Ramble complete. As I said, it just comes out as it comes out, when it comes out, whatever it is. It's just energy flowing, and I'm just purposely letting it flow because it feels good to me. I do want to pull on the feminine. Let me do that. Let me do that right now. We're going to do that right now. But ah, I felt like there was something funny about this. No, I'm, I'm going to explore. Let me explore. Didn't feel quite right. Oh, well, I have it upside down. That would help. I feel like that has to do with what I just talked about, actually. So we'll go ahead and feel through this surface energy. Five of swords, the nine of swords, forming the bread of this three cups sandwich. It's a nice energy in the middle there. I mean, just, you just look at the color. We've got this black and white, bleak, monochromatic, and then this nice sunset sherbet kind of peach gummy bear flavor going on. There is a realization of how we've been following a voice, a voice in our head. And that voice is not the voice of ourself. It's not our voice. It might sound like our voice, but it's not. It's not the voice of the soul. It's something else. And we're seeing through that seeing the difference between the voice of ego which is always judgmental is always comparative in terms of it inflates itself through the lessening of something else right it's not self-sustained it's not just good in its own being there's always something else there's an other in the perception that is building it up in some way, or another that it is feeling diminished by and feeling less than because of. There's always some sort of comparison, some sort of judgment happening. And when we're in that space, it doesn't feel good, number one, because it's not the self, and number two, because that's not what the self is doing. And so we have departed from alignment with our own energy, and we feel the tension of that, the discomfort of that. There's a doneness. I'm just going to put it that way. We're, we're, we're done with this. All it takes to start dismantling that is realizing it. The first time that you realize it, that process begins. Oh yeah, it's going to come back. It's going to come back and you'll find yourself slipping back into that state of unconsciousness and then catching yourself and then berating yourself and then catching yourself berating yourself and going, oh, hold on here. That's just more ego that's just more of the pain body the shadow whatever you want to call it the egregore trying to find a new way to continue because it knows i'm onto it and now it's it's panicking and so this is the voice of the inner critic that we're no longer listening to so much it's there it's there but we don't have to listen to it we're wise to it and in fact 
we're growing wise to the fact that critiquing the inner critic is just more inner criticism mm -hmm. and that that doesn't diminish that that just builds more of it so the key is not to fight it not to tell it that it shouldn't be there to just acknowledge it just look at it just see it when it's happening yeah it's there i see you i hear you i am holding the space for you which means holding the frequency which means holding myself in alignment with my own energy which is awareness which is pure non-judgmental aware consciousness just presence i'm just present with this i'm not telling it it's wrong i'm not judging it i'm not asking it to change i'm just here for it i'm here i am with it let it be and as i am holding this place i am not adding to that energy i'm letting it in fact dissipate i'm letting it i'm giving it an opportunity to express i'm not suppressing it which just keeps it stuck there just letting it be letting it happen that's how this transmutes we're seeing that we're seeing that and there to me is that transmutation is turning something that felt heavy into something lighter in fact recognizing the preciousness of it recognizing the value of this opportunity and the value of learning surrender rather than fighting rather than pushing against rather than rejection that's what this is really teaching us more and more and more surrendering to the presence of those thoughts of the patterns of the ego of the emotions of whatever it is being conscious with it being present with it on purpose allowing it on purpose and then we're not a part of it we're not invested in it but we're there we are alive active aware engaged in this moment it's just not driving us the way that it used to we don't have to stop the train we can just get off the train and then watch the train go and because we're no longer on the train there's nobody there feeding it more coal or whatever because this is a steam train and eventually eventually it'll run out of juice but we don't even have to worry about that that doesn't matter all that matters is being here with the train watching it that's it this is bringing greater confidence and stability that inner stability it's the it's the internal version like we were talking about it's the real version that which is not derived from ego but derived from presence. When you are in presence, you feel it. You can feel, you can sense your nature and you can sense and experience directly its goodness, its rightness, its wellness, its attractiveness, its abundance, all of these things. And all it takes to feel that, to feel those things, is to be present, is to be yourself, to be in alignment with your own energy this is changing oh yeah there's that attractiveness wicked attractiveness and confidence wicked attractiveness and confidence right there in fact even this attractiveness and confidence it's glowing up it's blowing up what's on top oh yeah oh yeah it's the lovers I mean, just flowing with the self and attracting this in, again. When you realize the completion of yourself, it doesn't mean you stop experiencing desire. It means you take pleasure in the desire itself. And you realize in the moment of having the desire, the desire is actually fulfilled. You are complete. In the moment of experiencing the desire, in the moment of experiencing the wish, you are fulfilled. When you have that in your awareness and then you're satisfied in the desire and thriving in it and relishing in it, you assure it. Your awareness of that desire's fulfillment in the moment of having it makes it 
a promise that that is so. That's the energy you put out. And then it really doesn't even matter because you're already in the desire, having a ball, having a blast, having a great time, realizing you don't need a physical manifestation to fulfill that desire. It's fulfilled with, within you by your experience of it. What you really want is the desire, <laughs> is the feeling of desire. And now you're feeling it. Oh my God, what an amazing thing it is to feel desire. Yes, yes, let me bask in this, this excitement. It's good. I don't need anything else. This is good. Just let me have the desire. I'm, I'm loving it. And you're not even worried. That anything else is just an afterthought. And that frame of it makes it so it can't not happen. It's already fulfilled. And so it has to be delivered in a physical form. That energy is already a part of now the structure of the universe that you are creating with your perception of it. Your perception creates reality. But again, you're already satisfied. I hope I've explained that enough. I could go in circles and circles because it goes in circles. Because everything does. All, all energy moves in cycles and circles. It's fabulous. <laughs> Let's pull on the incoming energy for Divine Feminine, for myself, cause fuck it. What's incoming to me? And if you resonate with this energy, then yeah, take it how it resonates, baby. But this is, you know, I'm just here to have fun. That's, that is what we're here to do. We're here to have fun, that's it. Contrast is a part of that fun. Oh, it's good. It's stable. It's been making its way. It's, it's, ooh, it's, it's, well, I mean, it's a rainbow antlered eight point buck. It's pretty spectacular. That rack is fabulous. Hey, you're not going to see another one like it. I mean, you see one of these in the forest, right? You're going to remember that day. This is something special. Something special. Ooh, yeah. I'm getting that, uh that special reserve energy that came through a while ago of like, I got something in the back for you. Something I ordered, something I had to find on eBay. I did some, you know, shady black market deals, whatever. I found this shit. Ooh, it's nervous. It's a nervous soulmate. As soon as it makes connection, there, yeah, there's nervousness here. Don't sweat it. It's a nine. It's the end. It's just something that's instantly enamored. That kind of energy. Page of Swords, I mean, sees this and goes, yeah. And this could be on either side. It can be, again, I'm not excluding myself from feeling nervous. I just talked about how I feel nervous all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, it's totally possible that I see this and go, oh my God, <laughs> oh, what do I do? I'm quaking in my boots here. Oh, but it's, it... <sighs> deeper. Mm -hmm. It's a can't miss kind of energy. Five of Cups, High Priestess. <sighs> what? It, mm, I don't know how I feel that Five of Cups. It's like a... More than meets the eye. There's something hidden here. There is something hidden here. The... the <sighs> might be questioning. There may be a propensity. Again, this can apply to either side of this. I'm just pulling on an incoming energy. And this is the surface, essentially. I, I didn't even mean to go this deep into it. Um, yeah, there, there's, there's maybe the questioning of it at first. Because I got, and I got this previously, it's, there's a little bit of too good to be true feeling, or uh, just how is this possible? How is this happening? 
but underneath that there is wicked wick there's that wicked attraction and passion and confidence it is a dramatic change it is stable it feels good it's something that sees the value and is open and expresses and maybe a part of that is what throws one for a loop uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the cards i didn't intend to go that deep with that but it's what happens yeah page of one it's new it's a new adventure it's exciting it's new it's something that wants to have fun it's very fun it's very playful it, it, it's spontaneous the magician oh yeah spontaneous comes the fuck out of nowhere but confident has has an eye has that eye but once it makes the decision yeah once it sees it makes the decision and that's it that's it um okay incoming energy I, i'm pulling on incoming energy towards me we'll get some more information here Towards myself and by extent. Oh shit, I'm already dropping cards by extension. Anyone who resonates with this energy. Okay, so that's it. I'm dropping cards. Uh, it's more than meets the eye. It's not quite what it seems on the surface. <sighs> Judgment, yeah. It's bigger, it's bigger. Might. I don't know I don't know it's it's confusing the energy itself is hard to figure out and that's how I feel about it it's sort of a it's a mysterious trying to figure it out can't quite put my finger on it type of energy but it feels good it feels good um, again a little bit of that sort of just, just like a showmanship vibe is this an act? Can I, do I trust this? Yeah, it's, it is since it's genuine. It is genuine. Oh yeah, there's the emperor underneath. It's genuine. It, it knows what it wants and it's coming for it. Um, okay, well, I'm knocking cards over. Here's what fell out. Six of swords and the knight of swords. It just feels good, makes sense, easy. It's it's easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. It's free flow, it's just, yeah, calm, calm waters. Um, this feels like a resolve, and resolve energy is like in music when you have a chord of tension, and then you have a chord of resolve, or like at the end of the song, it resolves. It just feels like that, of just like a, ah, it's a drifting, into a drifting into this it's coming in hot this is in the 3d position and it, it has something to say it's one message it's direct straightforward or gay forward it's just not mincing words again this i got that energy before not mincing words this is so interesting okay what about the soul Ooh. That's not, well, it kind of feels like it's a four card again, but I'm going to see. Tower, tower in the soul is, <laughs> it's pretty wicked. I mean, that's a, that's a breakdown. That's breakdown energy. Um, but it feels like, it... I can't get a beat on this. It is so mysterious. Do I leave that there? No. No, leave it with the Knight of Swords. Okay. I'm trusting that. So we're pulling one more. Well, that's no more. That's just as confusing. It's confusion. Yeah, it all works together. It is a little bit of someone acting, maybe not out of character, but it just in a way that they didn't expect. They're a little confused by it, 
but they just feel compelled. They feel absolutely compelled, driven by the by the universe like a magnet. It's just that I have to I have to say this. There are words coming out of my mouth and I'm not even aware of them, but they're coming out. Um, that's fascinating. That is fascinating. Okay. All right, what's the hidden message of the universe here, if that's the direction this is going? Four Cups comes back again. They don't want to miss out. Don't want to miss out. And that's a part of the compulsion. It's a, uh, now's my chance. I'm going to take it because I can't stand, I, I just can't stand the thought of, of not. The thought of not doing this, speaking, whatever it is, taking this action is like, <gasps> no, I couldn't, no, I have to do this. And I have to do it now. Oh, I can't wait to clarify this. This is fabulous. It's very interesting. Yeah, I'm just drawn, I'm really drawn to the moon, to just the upper half of this card, honestly. It's just something stands out. And just drawn to it, like, like a moth to flame, like uh, Lucky the Leprechaun going after his lucky charms. Ah. <laughs> You'll have to pardon the accent. I'm in a Celtic band now, so it pops out every now and again. All right, what's in, what's in the final outcome position? Queen of Wands. It's, a, it's just attraction. There's a little bit of holding back. That's definitely here, but it it feels like this snake strikes. I'm gonna put it that way. It's just the time to strike. The time to strike is now. I mean, with the tower, the knight of swords, the time is now. It's just go for it. And again, it's like this this snake would not usually strike. You know, they like to ball up. They don't want to have to strike. That's why they have the rattle. It's a rattlesnake. They're trying to scare something away. That is that defensiveness, but it's just, it's when the moment takes over and it feels like I have to strike now, I can't do this, now I have to strike, it happens, it strikes. This is, this is gotta do it. Energy. Interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, what am I clarifying with? Rider weight? No. Yes, rider weight. Okay. Uh, we'll just go with it. Let's see what's at the bottom. I picked them up. Yeah, that feels right. Ace of Cups flowing. It just, oh, it's, it's gushy. <laughs> it, it is a little bit of gushing energy. And I mean, like, emotionally, like, just, gosh, golly gee, you're swell. Can I buy you a soda pop? That, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. You're a swell. Nine of Pentacles underneath. I almost said Nine of Cups. Just mm, love it. And again, oh, yeah. Don't want to miss out. The soul is saying, go, motherfucker. Go for this. Take action. Find out. Find out. And that is fantastic advice. We should always just find out. If you feel an impulse like that towards something, a person, a place, a whatever it is, go. Don't question it. Just find out. And if you find yourself questioning it, just just say, I gotta find out. It's not the things that we don't, it's not the things that we do or say that we regret. It's the things that we don't do or say that we felt an impulse towards. And then because of fear, we talked ourselves out of it, whatever it was, just go, just find out. The result does not matter. It just matters that you went, that you flowed with that energy. I promise you, I promise you, you are self-satisfied in that. And at the end, whatever happens, happens. And you go, well, I'm proud of myself for doing it. Proud of myself for following the impulse, for trying something, for getting out there, for mixing it up, for doing whatever. That's that's what feels good. That's where the real satisfaction and the self-validation comes from. So just go for it. This is the energy of somebody just going for it. Just, oh my God, yeah. What did I just say? There's a moment of trying to talk the self out of it and then the realization of, no, I just gotta go. I've talked myself, uh, myself, there's a lot of them. I've talked myself out of things in the past that I've regretted. I regretted not doing it. I'm just, 
this feels good. I just, I got to do this. I can't live with myself not knowing, not trying. Shooters got to shoot, right? You don't, uh, I don't have the uh, rainbow buck anymore, but you see that buck and I'm not a hunter and I'm not into hunting animals, but I respect all aspects of life on this planet. Um, if you see the rainbow buck, let's say you're shooting a camera. Okay, we'll put it that way. You see the rainbow buck and you're trying to get the perfect angle and you don't want to, you just, you take the shot. You got to take the shot. Even if you miss, at least you took the shot and you're not the person going, yeah, I saw it, but I didn't even try. That's what drives us crazy. That's what, mm, this is energy going, no, I know. I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta try. I gotta give to this. I gotta see you because the thought of not is just can't, can't take that. Can't stand that. Let's talk about it. Tell me about this six of swords. Ooh, man, these cards have been sticky lately. And I know it's a little bit maybe more humid than it has been, but they're not always this sticky. Uh, they've been just juiced up recently. Tell me about this Six of Swords. It's in the mental position. Oh my god. Okay. Hang on. Oh, now I gotta pull on that, too. Just go for it, motherfucker. Everything I just said. Why? Because what fell out is the devil. And the Seven of Cups. I've been here before. I've been here where I was contemplating this decision and I didn't make a decision. I, I, the doubts got the better of me, whatever. You know, I stayed in analysis paralysis and I didn't take action. And I know how frustrating that is and I will not be satisfied with doing that again. Nope, the lovers, nope, I'm going for it. That's a decision, that's the choice. That's what this card is in some decks. It's the choice, choice, choice. This is the choice that's made by the universe. This is the choice that you can you know, fuck around with because free will. <laughs> Underneath the free will is the no, no, you're going. No, you're going. Soul, universe, just pushing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull on that devil um, because I want to, because it's here. Give me one more for the devil. Tell me about the devil. Why is that here? Is it, it becomes obsession. It turns from the hold back into the push forward, which is how fear can serve you. Absolutely how fear can serve you. You feel that tension and you decide to lean into it and it becomes invigoration. You're going, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fucking do this. Watch me do this. <laughs> and it becomes excitement. I mean, it's just, whoa, I'm dropping cards again. Okay, so I get two. Yeah, look at that. The devil, the lovers, which is angel energy, which cancels out devil energy in the first place. It transmutes this and makes it into, instead of a, something holding back, it's a push forward, what, what fell out. The hanged man, in reverse, it fell out this way, so I'm taking it this way. Action. Action, not, not hanging around. And the fool, which, okay, how did, I, how did I just pick this up? Well, I picked it up. I picked it up in reverse. But it's, it's rotating, especially with that reversed hanged man energy. It's rotating. It's a, yeah, uh, starts out hesitant, starts out, I don't know, I don't know about this, but oh my God, I, I remember not going for something like this in the path and I, I just gotta go for this. I, I gotta go for this. I gotta go for this. Again, the choice made, choice made for us kind of a thing. Um, that's pretty cool. Those are powerful cards to come out right at the beginning. I mean, all in the mind. It's just, there are, yeah. It's a reinforcement of the sort of the mental energy being overpowered by soul energy, which is driving this extremely rapid tower, dramatic action, conversation, whatever it is. Um, yeah. All right. So tell me about this. I'm taking the Tower and the Knight of Swords together here. It's the Knight of Swords flying away from a tower. 
it's, so it could be a dramatic event. It really just feels like a, it's almost confrontation type of energy, but uh, yeah, it might even be a little bit confrontational, but it's, it's attractive. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. It's, um, I don't know, it's just someone walking up and stopping you, like grabbing you on the shoulder and going, hey, you're fucking amazing. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah, it wants to, it's, it wants to give something. It wants to give. It's a little dramatic in the giving. It's maybe a little swordsy and intense in the approach, but it's got a lot of emotion there. It, it feels something deeply, deeply. Pair of sixes, that's a deep dive energy as well. What's on top? Three of Pentacles, yeah. Wants, wants to work something, sees potential. Wants to work something out. Wants to work together. Uh, what's right with the Three of Pentacles? Feels good. Sees victory. Sees potential in this. It's just, I'm going to claim my victory. I see it. It's right there. Uh, I, I have to try. I have to go towards it. I have to at least, I have to express this because not feels terrible. And I, I've not taken action in the past. And this time I'm taking action. I see this. I'm not going to miss it. It feels good. I'm going towards it. I'm going for it with confidence. I am pulling on incoming energy. Um, this can swing both ways, but really it's it's mostly about the feelings of that which is coming towards. That, that is how I'm putting it out there, to the universe at least. So yeah, wants to give, wants to give. I think it's mutual, uh, but we'll find out. We'll find out. I'll, I'll pull on that specifically, perhaps. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. Tell me about, yeah, we're, we're going to keep going with this. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups in the soul. Just making sure I have the cards not upside down. So I've been doing that a little bit lately. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in the soul. Topsy-turvy. Uh... I'm just going to say possibly alcohol involved <laughs> it is a part of this. And you know, liquid courage, a little bit, all things in moderation. It's called spirits for a reason. A little bit just helps, can help turn off the excess voice in the brain, right? And you just, you just go for it. It's very easy to overdo it, and then you're just not present anymore, and you're not really conscious. But I believe all things can be engaged with in presence. And it's presence that will guide you to stay, to toe that line, to stay in that arena of not overdoing it, not delving into unconsciousness, but not being rigid or rejecting anything either. Enjoying the moment and the free expression of it. The moon. Ah, yeah. It... Not sure why it makes sense, but it makes sense. Something just, it just feels right. Um, it's underneath that. Yeah, it, because of the brain being turned off, that is that is a big part of this. <laughs> just have to shut it down and, and go for it. Spill it. Spill the beans out with it. The soul is driving, one way or another. One way or another, the, the emotions and the positive impulse are in the lead. It's hard on the sleeve, just, I gotta, I gotta tell you about this. Oh, King of Wands. No, it's not a bad King of Wands. Bad is a relative term. It's not a wandsy, superficial King of Wands. There is maybe a little bit of that showmanship and act here, but it's a... It's part of the, gosh, I've overthought this in the past. I don't want to overthink this. I don't want to miss out on this. Let me, let me take that shot and build myself up and just go for it. That kind of thing. You know, it, it's not a superficial. It's just a, maybe haven't had this confidence before and now I'm going for it. Now is my time. I'm not going to let myself be held back by fear anymore. I make the decision now. Choose something else. 
to choose to just express and that is a part of how it plays out in this very sort of dramatic and a little bit confrontational just hey stop right there i like you <laughs> kind of energy is the king of what yeah yeah god just has to be free in another layer it has to be free of the of free of the defensiveness wants to drop the guard is tired of caring what other people think and wants wants to just go for it wants to experience the liberation of following one's own passion one's own energy the pull of a positive impulse without questioning it seeing how we've questioned it in the past and we're, we don't want to do that anymore not this time this time i'm going to challenge that i'm going to feel the fear and i'm going to lean into it i'm going to do it anyway that kind of thing and then at least i took the action right and it doesn't matter what happens i i did it i went for it i tried i asked they can't say yes if you don't ask right you don't you don't give them a chance <laughs> let me at least try let me go for it four of cups this is this is weird energy i don't know i don't know how i feel about it i almost get nothing off of it Okay, Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune just tried to flip out. I got more cards flipping out. There's the Hermit. No, it is Hermit and again, I mean, it jumped out, so I stopped shuffling. Eight of Swords, what's underneath that? Yeah, same thing. This is a big deal for this energy. This is, this is their time to make the decision to act, to follow the impulse where they haven't before, where before it's been all this overthinking, they're, they're sick of it. They're sick of it. And specifically that I'm so sick of overthinking things and not taking action is driving them to just shut that down, bring up the soul energy and take action and, and follow it. I'm not gonna miss out on this. I don't even know what this is, but I'm not gonna miss out on finding out. I'm gonna fucking find out because I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I'm just, this is a big lesson. It's communication too, but it's a big, this has been a, a big thing for somebody dealing with this, of really wanting to, really feeling the pull, really feeling the attraction wanting to do something, say something, and then holding back because of the, oh, well, how, how do I do it? How do I approach? What if this happens? What if I trip? What if I stutter? What if they say no? It, fuck it. Who cares? Who cares? None of that matters. It does not matter. They're realizing it doesn't matter. That's There's no satisfaction in that. There's no satisfaction in following that fear the way out of this prison is by saying, I, I take off the blindfold, I rip loose from these very loosely tied bounds, bonds, binds, whatever, and I just go for it. I, I just go for it. So, what's right with the hermit? Yeah, taking action. Not gonna just sit there. That's what's happened in the past. Tired of the sitting, waiting, wishing, and watching this pass me by. The opportunity is here now. There's an opportunity energy. And I'm just going to seize it. I'm going to seize it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to see what happens. I like that. I like that very much. I vibe with that. I fucks with that. Uh, speaking from just personal experience, I, I relate to this challenge. Absolutely. And it still is something that comes up. Oh, geez. I got a low battery. I hope my phone doesn't die. But I can tell you how satisfying it is to reach that moment of saying, fuck it, I'm going in. Fuck it, we'll do it live. And just asking that person out or saying that they're attractive or getting up on stage and singing that song, just doing it. And then you, you're doing it for yourself and you feel proud of yourself. And even when they say no, and they have, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you did it. You get to be proud of yourself. And you realize then it never mattered. It was never about that other person. It was never about the reception. Even when you get up there and you play a song and nobody is listening, you can, you can hear them all talking the whole time. You did it. You went up there and sang that song. 
you get to be satisfied with that and proud of that. And the rest doesn't matter. You, you ride that high because you followed your own energy and you balanced it and that's what feels good. Um, shuffling on the Queen of Wands and out of the deck leaps like a jackrabbit the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of love here. I mean, she holds the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of emotion towards this. It just feels so good. It feels so good and it feels like something that I want and that I've been wanting and that I, I, I want to take a stab at it. I just want to, oh yeah, something that I want and that I've been wanting. And I don't know, it could be. And, and in the past, the thinking of what could be has created this tension and then I didn't break out of the tension because I, I made it into this whole thing. But let me just be in the moment now and take a stab at it because I want to. God, that's a lot of good feeling. Again, a pair of sixes connecting to each other. It's, it's deep. There's a recognition energy here. There is, and that is maybe likely a part of what is driving the impulse um, because again, speaking from experience, when you have a soul recognition with someone, that's, that's a major inspirational factor. That's a motivator. Your, your brain will be going, this doesn't make sense that I feel so much towards this person that I hardly know or don't know. We just made eye contact and I feel compelled. I feel like I know them. I feel like I like them. I like your energy. What is this? It, it's just, I gotta go and find out at least. I gotta go see. I gotta go try because there's a deep em emotional pull here. There is a soul level pull, a heart pull, a heart attraction. There's a, it's a like energy and it defies all mental logic and that's screwing with the brain, but the soul is winning. It's saying just go. That, that soul connection, I'm telling you, it cannot be overridden. <laughs> And it doesn't matter how it plays out necessarily. It's just, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta find out. You gotta be in that energy and just be like, hi, I like you. I like, th I like this. This feels good. I don't know why, but it does. And then at least you found out. At least you tried. If it goes somewhere, then great. And if it doesn't, great. You followed your impulse. <laughs> you feel satisfied with that. You didn't listen to fear. You let fear turn about and inspire you, push you into going forward. Instead, you turned it into excitement. You made it into a motivator. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, my phone is going to die. I really do want to pull on some more thing, but we'll see how far we get. Uh, quickly, quickly. Okay. So what is the reception here? What, how, how does the feminine, I think it feels good. Actually. I mean, based with this final outcome, it feels like a mutual a mutual attraction of whatever sort. It's it's a, the feeling is mutual, we'll say. Um, yeah, what's the reception like? How does the feminine? How do I feel about this? Which is really just a little more about this Queen of Cups and everything, honestly, because that's that's what's here. <sighs> the magician again, again out of nowhere, comes out of nowhere, puts an end to something. <sighs> What's on top? The lovers. Okay. I mean, <sighs> yeah, it just makes sense. It's <sighs> maybe it's not a logical choice, but it's still an easy choice. It's the choice that feels right. It's an intuitive choice. There's an end to some sort of cycle that's tied to this king of swords yeah it's an easy choice it just makes sense i'm gonna go ahead and make this the three card at the end because i'm gonna run out of time i know <sighs> maybe a little swordsy again uh it is sort of a startling like poof out of thin air communication that same sort of grabbing the shoulder energy, but it feels right. What's right with the lovers? Page of Cups, yeah. Do love. Feels new, feels fresh, feels exciting. I'm, I'm pulling on the reception now. Technically the reception of myself. How do I feel about this universe? How do you project? I respond. Good, positively. Uh, yeah, openly, maybe a little startled. 
yeah <laughs> a little confused a little bewildered a little baffled like you would be if this guy walked up to you wearing this get up carrying a cup of fish but you know what he's got a, he's got a way about him and uh you like the way he talks that kind of thing it, there's just a, there's a sweet talk kind of energy but not again it's not overly wandsy king of wandsy it's just uh it's genuine <laughs> it's genuine wandsy it's genuine desire it, and it's straightforward really it's not trying to talk around you in circles trying to play games type of energy it's just it's confused by itself it is that feeling of just words are spilling out of my mouth and I don't know what's coming out right now but gosh you're pretty can I buy you a drink that kind of thing um yeah it feels good I like it I like it and there's just out of curiosity two more off the top the emperor peeking out behind this nine of wands um I'm not gonna go into the whatever masculine energy I don't care it's just somebody taking control somebody pulling up their big boy big girl pants saying I'm tired of missing out on things that I like and I'm going towards this yeah just that it's very direct it's very deliberate It's fighting for, oh, it's fighting for what it wants. It sees something, it sees potential. Thank you. And it's just going for it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, is there anything else I want to pull on? I don't know if I have time before the phone dies. Final message nothing else I really want to pull on. Oh no, I am going to pull on the Seven of Swords in the base energy. Yeah, because the Magician is underneath that too. What? Why this, Why did you throw me the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords, real quick. Before, okay, I know my phone is going to die and the cards are slipping all over the place. Why the Seven of Swords and now they are exploding? Okay, why the Seven of Swords? Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, Three of Swords jumped out. Uh, it's been hurt before and that's what's kept it from taking action. But it doesn't want to miss out. Yeah, it it's realizing somebody can't say yes if you don't ask, if you don't give them a chance, right? The dream can't manifest if you don't believe in it and you don't give it an opportunity if you don't follow the impulse it's just it's going for it because it's it's driven by something deep within it feels like it, it wants to end the bullshit the deck split on the tower again yeah it's really not it's not bullshit. It's, it might seem a little bit eh, artificial at first. Artificial more than superficial, perhaps. There's, there's something about it, but it very quickly turns into, a, you know, I can see how there's just sort of, there's fear there, and then there's the overcoming of fear. And so we, you know, maybe act a little more impulsive we speak a little more quickly we 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 stutter we whatever we say some extra things but it's because we're doing something that up to this point has been unnatural to us we've we've been held back and maybe we've been hurt before and so we're used to holding back but we don't want to hold back anymore and this is our this is our shot we're going for it and we're going with it um, yeah, I get that. I get that, definitely. So that's what I got, incoming energy for the feminine. I'm gonna leave it right there and close this out while I still have battery life. <laughs> um, this resonates for me powerfully. Obviously it does. I am pulling on myself because I'm a selfish bitch. I love it. That's what it's here for, you know? Uh, but 
I shouldn't even say those words. I say bitch playfully because yeah, take back, take back those words and take back selfishness. But I can feel a little ping of ego being like, downplay it, downplay that it's for yourself, make it a shameful thing. So no, fuck that. I'm proud to be pulling on my own energy, to be pulling on what's coming towards me because I deserve to know and it's fun and this is all for fun and I do intend it resonates because energy is always connected and always in layers and if you've made it fuck this far an hour long into the video then there's something here for you there's something here that resonates with you you're not just here because you're bored on a Thursday night or whatever and you think I talk funny and you like to listen to it and you're making dinner whatever there's something else here so take what resonates and I would love to know I do intend that it resonates for you let me know and if it does how it does leave me a comment like subscribe if you feel so inclined uh but just know good things lovely things are always coming they are making their way in the feminine energy is just juice and flowing freely it feels good and that's that's all you need anyway you're feeling good just keep feeling good enjoy the desire that's what it's there for when you can enjoy the desire itself and you you don't need a manifestation or quote unquote fulfillment of it to feel fulfilled you've got it you don't need anything you're self-satisfied self-sustained self-assured attracted to yourself loving yourself and everything cannot help but benefit from all of that so that's it have a beautiful fabulous evening my lovely sexy collective and just know that always and in always, through every vector of time and space, I absolutely love you.